Hey guys, so, new look Crypto Sunday. I, I mentioned yesterday that I can't seem to record on my phone, so taking the opportunity to do spreadsheets on the, the stock side and the crypto side. So, this might sort of give you a little bit more uh, sort of info into my previous buys and that sort of thing. This sort of shows my whole portfolio. Uh, I'm not entirely sure the uh, prices are correct. I'm getting them from... Um, a sort of API connecting to the internet and sort of Bitcoin and uh, some of the other coins seem okay. I think Ethereum's slightly wrong, but the portfolio's total is sort of 1,000 off my um, Delta uh, figure, so I'll go with it for now. Um, but yeah, so we'll put my uh, total cost in as well. Um, yeah, so that sort of <laughs> shows you the effects of sort of long-term buying uh, you can basically see sort of anything that I've bought uh, quite a long while ago is up sort of you know four digit percentage sometimes and uh, sort of certainly three digit greens and anything that I've bought sort of in the last year is uh, heavily down with this bear market so just shows you sort of even some of these coins I would have been buying sort of in the 2017 peaks and yeah, now it sort of looks like uh, fairly cheap prices, even though they sort of dropped back then, you know, 60, 70%. So we could be seeing the same from these coins that I've bought last year, um, which are down sort of 70, 80%. Um, but yeah, so if you've uh, got any questions on the new spreadsheet, I'm still sort of uh, working my way through it. Um, nice little pie chart as well, just sort of showing my breakdown. Obviously, uh, people still sort of ask me about altcoins and that sort of thing, but I am still 65% Bitcoin, uh, not wanting to sort of jump on the risk uh, all that much. Sort of consider whether to, uh, now we're at a fairly low point, maybe sort of sell off like one Bitcoin and sort of put it into all of my other altcoins, but... Yeah, I've sort of held off doing that. Um, but yeah, so we're uh, fairly in the red. Um, not all that much, about 5,000 down from last week. Um, but yeah, so a little bit of news. Um, yeah, you start to see um, buying Bitcoin from larger countries. So we sort of had a, a one or two issues with the pound during the week and the uh, Great British Pound Bitcoin volume surged, uh, I think I read 1100% from what it would normally be trading at. So you've been sort of seeing this from various South American countries experiencing high inflation and um, sort of some Middle East countries and Turkey and people like that, but never uh, a G7 country. Um, so yeah, the UK sort of buying crypto as a sort of escape from the pound. You're starting to get real countries doing this. So I thought that was interesting. Um, the CFTC, the uh, Commodity Futures Trading Commission, uh, Chairman Rostin Benham, getting quite bullish on, uh, on crypto. I guess they see it as maybe uh, sort of partly if they get to regulate it, they would get sort of a larger team. So it's sort of self-serving it would help their department and help him and that sort of thing but yeah he sees um if sort of crypto can end up getting regulated through them rather than the uh, securities and exchange commission uh, he thinks that would be sort of bullish for the space and uh, these sort of top institutional players that are presumably still staying away because it's a bit of an unknown um yeah they would sort of bring those in and sort of give them more confidence to invest so yeah i thought that was uh interesting if a little unusual sort of uh, a basically a, a head of a large sort of government organization being fairly bullish on on crypto so we'll see how that goes uh, lots of sort of lawsuits obviously going on at the moment the xrp uh, depending on how that sort of ends up could mean sort of government uh, moving more towards the CFTC and uh, yeah legislation that they're putting out sort of the bipartisan overall crypto bill 
uh, could sort of push it one way or the other. So we'll see what happens with that. Um, Google's ex uh, founder, Eric Schmidt, um, sort of backing Chainlink from the looks of it. Uh, he said Chainlink has better technology and scales better than other cryptos like uh, Bitcoin and Ethereum. So quite bullish from him. Obviously worth noticing, uh, noting that he became a strategic advisor to Chainlink uh, last December. So he's sort of got a, uh, a slightly vested interest. But yeah, sort of quite interesting that he's uh, fairly bullish on Chainlink and sort of being ex-Google, uh, he would know sort of what to look out for, and uh, yeah, quite good, quite bullish on uh, on Chainlink, and then again, Chainlink as well, um, they have partnered with Swift for cross-chain crypto information, basically, that's sort of Chainlink's thing, linking other blockchains and sort of linking blockchains with real-world information, so... Swift sort of thinks that uh, could be useful as well. Um, it will enable Swift messages to instruct on-chain token transfers, helping the network become interoperable across blockchain. So I guess they're trying to uh, sort of integrate blockchain into their services and sort of partly uh, keep up with the times, basically, because Swift sort of is seen as a, a dated sort of old system, even though it is used basically all around the world so see what happens with that I do want to be uh, up in my chain link stake at some point um, and yeah just created a little uh, sort of watch list in um, coin market cap so this is sort of my um, my tokens and sort of gives you the seven day and 30 day uh, movements so some of these are obviously uh, rather large and sort of gives you the all-time high price as well so you just sort of compare um, how far we've come down and sort of current market cap uh, fully diluted market cap is also important some of these sort of tokens only have a small number of their total supply actually on the market so uh, if you're sort of thinking you know it's a 500 million a dollar project and it could rise to whatever uh, if there's only five percent of the supply on board at the moment then essentially it sort of could grow larger just by the uh, token supply increasing um, so there isn't necessarily um, the upside that you may be thinking so it's good to have um, a sort of good point about a crypto if you're looking at one is sort of a, a high circulating supply relative to the total supply so if you sort of see something where you know 75 percent i mean bitcoin is the sort of the obvious one uh, 91 percent of the total supply is already online and circulating so yeah other uh, other tokens are sort of less so obviously ethereum has theoretically unlimited supply um, xrp is half um, Cardano 76%, so not too bad. Uh, Solana, I think, again, is sort of unsure. Uh, they're still sort of inflating the uh, token supply. Um, but yeah, so looking at the week's performance, uh, Internet Computer has sort of performed the best, uh, only down 1.5%. Bitcoin sort of down similar. Uh, Audius not doing too bad. 3.4%, uh, Ethereum down 4 and then, yeah, you start to get sort of larger moves, XRP down a little, although they've uh, just had um, an order to release some of the, um, I believe, SEC documents on what they said about Ethereum, so that was quite bullish. Uh, as you see as well, they're sort of up 43% on the week, so slight pullback isn't anything to worry about. Um, BitTorrent is my uh, little one that I've got about a tenner of. Uh, Solana down 5%. Still sort of, if it wasn't for the weak pound, this would probably be sort of in the my sort of buy price that I wanted to buy. But yeah, we've had the, we, uh, we've had the pound go down, so that's a shame. Uh, 
Um, so yeah, like down five and a half percent. They did just have another sort of outage in the service yesterday, so that's got everyone uh, very unhappy. Um, basic attention token down five. Power Ledger down six. Not too bad. Uh, Chronos down seven percent. That's all been doing reasonably well over the last uh, week or two. Um, Cardano down eight. Chainlink, admittedly, despite all this bullish news, is down 9%, um, but up 8.6% on the month. So still doing well, still a little above my uh, buy price. And yeah, the uh, 3x Cardano token. Um, so yeah, I think Chainlink, of the all of the ones that I've bought this year and in the last year, is the only one in the green. So that's... Uh, Potentially good news um, for their sort of long-term, long-term bullishness. People don't want to be selling it as hard as all the others. So, yeah, um, interesting spreadsheet I thought, and uh, this is the new format. So, let me know what you guys think. If uh, there's anything I could improve on, sort of watchability. Not sure how it'll work on phones, but yeah, let us know and uh, let me know how your portfolio is doing. If you're buying anything, then uh, like and subscribe. See you soon.